Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. You know, we talk about uh, Chrome OS Flex a lot on this channel here, and one of the number one requests I always get on it is how do you get Android apps or Google Play working on that thing? And um, the short, easy answer is you really don't. There might be, I've heard one guy on the channel say he was able to get an Android app to run on Chrome OS Flex using a, like a, a total hack method that, um, most people aren't going to want to go through. But there is a Chromium OS based system called Fight OS, which you see on my screen right here, that does come with uh, Android and Google Play support built right in. Um, somebody asked me, by the way, if this was a legit system, and uh, I don't know the answer to that. I think it is. We'll do a video on that later. But today we're going to talk about Android apps. Now, the first time I installed Fight OS, if you guys remember my video from that, I couldn't figure out how to get Google Play to work. It wasn't obvious to me right out of the box. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You want to go to the... Um... Oh, I should have had this ready before. They have an app on here. I think it is... Um... It's one of the Fight OS apps. I think it's their store. Come on up. Okay. And possibly made by Fight OS, and then you go to configure open G apps. I have it installed, but this is what you need to install first. After you do this, it'll give you the Google Play Store. I had no idea about this the first time I used Fight OS. So this is what you want to do. Configure open G apps. That gives you this guy. The thing everybody wants well not everybody, but a lot of people want a Chrome OS Flex. Google Play. So now we're just going to install a few things and just see if they work. I'm going to start out with VLC Player. Get that installed. Maybe let's do a Microsoft uh, Remote Desktop and see if that works. Let's install that. What else can we try? I have um, some games on my account. Oh, I know someone asked me about Terraria. I think I have that. Yeah, let's install that. I wonder if Minecraft works. I know on um, a real Chromebook, you cannot download the Android Minecraft app. But can you on Fight OS? Wow, you can. That's interesting. All right, so we got this stuff downloading now. I I, where did I check my downloads at? See if any are done. Manage apps. Got six pending. You know, it would have been uh, smart for me to install all this before the video. That's all right. I think my VLC is done. Let's open that, see what it looks like. Okay, we got VLC player here. But I wonder if I can open a video from the system, like if file associations work. Let's get our permissions. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's automatically going to be finding all the videos I have on here. On this uh, laptop, there's two hard drives on it. And on the secondary hard drive, I have all the uh, YouTube videos I record on my um, device saved. And it looks like it's finding all of them, which is really cool. But what I want to be able to do is just click on a video from the system here and have it open in VLC. So let me try... Oh, look at that. This is a video I did a couple days ago trying different USB peripherals on um, Chrome OS Flex. Okay, I don't need to see all that. All right, everybody, it's Brandon again. And so the VLC player works. Works good. Let's see what else we installed here. I did a remote desktop client. This would be great if it worked. Let me just add my PC. <clears throat> Save that. See if I can connect. It looks like I can. Uh, I think that's right. We'll find out. Unable to connect. We couldn't connect. You might not have permission. Let me try a different account. 
think I'd fuse a Microsoft account. Oh, perfect. Looks like we're getting in. Ah, so if you watch my video on Chrome OS Flex on how to do uh, different remote desktop solutions on it, you have to go through Linux or using the Chrome Remote Desktop app, which I found to be a little laggy. It looks like this might just work. Oh, here we go. My mouse is working fine. We're on uh, my Windows 10 machine. And um, yeah, looks to be working all right. Let me disconnect from this. Oh, how do I quit? Come on. All right, there's Remote Desktop, the Android app working on here. You know, I did kind of trash Android apps being on regular Chrome OS, but um, with those two right there, they are kind of handy. I'm interested if this Minecraft works, because it doesn't work on a real Chromebook. They block it. They block you from downloading it. I'm having some graphical glitches here. I don't know if it's because I'm recording right now. Sometimes the system itself slows down while I'm recording. Let me just play it real quick and see if it works. Also on the same laptop, I installed in a previous video the Minecraft Minecraft Java Edition, and um, I could get into the game, but I can never get into a world. It would just crash. So if I can get into a world here, that'd be a big improvement. However, you can see how glitchy it kind of looks. I'll try this again when I'm not recording and see if that fixes it. Building terrain. There, it's not so glitchy when I'm not full screen. Oh, this is pretty cool. Now I'm playing Minecraft. Keyboard controls work. Mouse works. The uh, keyboard controls seem to be pretty much like what you'd see on Java Edition. So that's neat. We got a B. Hello. Okay. We got Minecraft working. That is very cool. That is almost better than um, real Chrome OS. So plus one for Fight OS here. Let's try the Terraria I downloaded. I'm going to window. Oh, do you have to be full screen on Terraria? Looks like you do. But it's not glitching out yet. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Okay. This looks like it works. I don't know if I'm going to go through playing it because it's playing loud music. Alright, while I have that open, I'll just update everything that's on here. So yeah, this is um, Android support on Chrome OS Flex. You got an Android files it gives you. This is kind of like regular Chrome OS. I haven't saved anything on there. But anyway, the stuff I tried worked. So this is fairly impressive. Um, this is something that is not in Chrome OS Flex. And a lot of people ask me when it's going to be in there in our Chrome OS Flex. And I have no idea. As far as I know, it may never be in Chrome OS Flex. And the reason I say that is when you look at Google's own documentation, um, they have a page listing the differences between real Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex. And they mention no Android support on Flex. I don't know if they mean right now or if they mean it's never going to happen. That could be. So if you're one of those guys who really wants Android working, and you might give Fido S a try. It's free. Um, somebody said it's a 90-day trial, but when you go to their download site, let me just show you. I, I really don't think it's a 90-day trial. They have multiple editions. FYDOS.io. And then another guy asked me if it's legit or not, which I'll research for another video. One of the things that gives you pause is you go to their website and it looks like this. You know, however cool Fight OS might be, your website sucks. But um yeah, when you I looked at this pricing and um they have a VMware one that says free. I'm using this one, Fight OS for PC, that they say is free ish. 
but it hasn't asked me for money. I don't get a tailored experience, which that's fine. And I don't get uh, all the support type of th stuff, which I am not a guy that needs that anyway. So I'm fine with that. On the downloads, I downloaded this one that was for processors, third gen to eighth gen. Um, and I think the processor in here is newer than eighth gen, but it doesn't have the iris graphics. It has HD the it has UHD graphics. Anyway, I didn't know which one to get. I got this um, third to eighth gen one. It works good. So anyway, I'm getting off track here. We're talking about Android. Uh, Google Play Store works. Showed you how to set it up. Showed you installing different things. It all worked. So if you were one of the guys really asking about Android apps, give Fido OS a try. I think you might like it. Anyway, let me know in the comments uh, what else you want me to test here. If there's other Android apps you want me to test or what other Fido OS things you want me to test. I have a few things on my list that I'll be getting to over the coming days. So until then, thanks for watching and have a good day.